Hey folks, today is April 3rd. I'm going to go ahead and do my weekly update review for Forex VentureBot. And this is going to be for the week of April the 30th, or actually, excuse me, um, March 30th through April 3rd. We took three trades this week. Actually, we had one trade here uh, open up last week, but it closed on Monday. And that was for a loss of $37.95. And we had another trade here. This one opened up on Monday, ended up closing on Wednesday. And that was a loss of 184.46. And we had another trade open up on Wednesday and close out today. Or actually, uh, 4-2. So that opened up on Thursday. As you guys can see here, 224.62. And uh, I actually thought this was going to hit our stop loss because the market was uh, pushing up pretty close to it. But the system uh, closed us out. For still a hefty loss, but not as large as it could have been. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that I don't think we've had a winning day for the past four weeks. Actually, a winning trade. When was our last winning trade? March 4th. So that was back here. As you guys can see, we're on April 3rd. So we've actually gone just about a month since our last winning trade just wanted you guys to see that there alright let me pull up the uh, Forex VentureBot website alright guys let's go ahead and take a look at this now we can check out their myfxbook.com account just want to make sure they're taking these heavy losses the same way we are so March, as you guys can see, they're down 11.52%. April, so far they're down 2.68%. Uh, no open orders. We don't have any open orders either, so that's perfectly fine here. All right, let's take a look. Three thirty. That's the close date. March 27th. I don't think I have that trade. They have a trade that opened up March 27th. I think this is uh, this trade right here. <clears throat> and let me see what date that actually closed. Alright, so it opened 327, closed on 330. So I believe that is this trade right here. Alright, then they had uh, one that opened on 330 and closed on 331. And let me see. 330. And this one closed on April 1st. So we didn't, we're not showing this winner here for some reason. Not sure about that. All right, um, 4-2 to 4-3. 4-2 to 4-3. So they're showing this loser as well. And that's uh, a good thing. So everything is the same except for this trade right here. For some reason, we didn't uh, get this winner. Let me see here. All right. I'm not sure about that. Maybe uh, if somebody else that's using it, check your uh, settings. Not your settings, but check your uh, trades and see if you guys caught this winner here maybe it's just my uh, platform maybe one of my settings is off or something but I haven't uh, touched anything so I'm not sure where this winner came from but definitely uh, if you're using the software testing it as well check that to see if you're uh, showing this winner on your charts here and hopefully uh, it's just me hopefully you guys were able to uh, catch that winner at least Is that kinda takes a little bit of the sting out of this week because they made eight hundred nine dollars here they lost 188 and then they lost a little over a thousand so this one winner right here really takes a bit of the sting out of this uh, week of losses alright so with that being said we have one more week of testing it's uh, doubtful that the software will be able to uh, come back from this uh, deep hole that is currently in right now as you can see here we're down one thousand five hundred and fifty nine dollars and eighty nine cents but we're going to uh, wait 
and see what he does next week. And hopefully he can uh, bounce back. Like I said, it's doubtful, but we're going to give it the opportunity to, uh, to do that, to prove us wrong here. All right, that's going to be it, and uh, I'll see you guys on the last update next week. Take care, folks. Have a great weekend.